This is a video on changing the wheels on my car. I'm going from old steel wheels and these actually really cool Mercury hubcaps. And I'm taking these off because with new radial tires, these things were flying off all the time. And I didn't really want to drive the car as much because I was always chasing down hubcaps, expensive hubcaps, and I didn't want to do that. So I also wanted a little more rubber to the road. So I went to a larger wheel on a 15 so I can also put in some better brakes and a little bit of customization to make them look as close as I could to the factory original hubcap. Here's the old Coker white wall. These were 205 75-14s. And here's the new front tires. Uh, the fronts, the Mickey Thompsons are 225 75 sorry 225 70 15s they're about the same height um, the back spacing on the wheel is a little different i did have to grind a little bit on the mercury to get these to fit but you can see i'm just at 205 to 225 quite a bit more rubber on the road now the aluminum wheel let's see what the difference in weight is these will not stand up on their own, but 46.2 and plus hubcap. Let's see if it'll weigh the hubcap. I don't know if that weighs enough to register. Uh, let's add another 2.2. 48. 0.4 pounds on the Cokers. Let's see about the bigger Mickey T's. 44.2. So gaining all that tire without a weight penalty. So then a little more customization is required to get the spinners on these wheels. These are the retainers that go on the back side. The bolts go through here and bolt onto the spinners. Now with this wheel, I'll show you. For this spinner, it only goes in um, to the first little recess there, not to this notch uh, where it's supposed to go. This is slightly too big. So you'll see here, this doesn't stick out at all. So you'd need a really long bolt uh, to go through this to get to the spinner. Now, because of this different bolt size, Scott Drake sells um, this as an adapter for center caps, bolt-in center caps. Now this one, back to this side, that one does go all the way up to the next recess. The other one was getting stuck back here. This one goes up here. Now, for that, you can see for the spinners, still goes out about the same point right below the flange of the wheel. So when you look at the two together, it's only a very small difference in diameter. Let's say less than an eighth of an inch um, total. If I put this one to the bottom, that's the total all around. A millimeter or so. So I just took and ground a little bit off of one of these already. I'll show you. It will go and poke out how it's supposed to. Now I can bolt the spinner on there uh, like it's supposed to and I mean it takes five minutes of grinding each so I'll finish these up and mount them. And they came out exactly like I had in my head. This is what I was going for. And I can't believe just how perfectly, shout out to uh, steering wheel Chris, K-R-I-S. He did the Mercury centers here. And it took a really long time. I think he would even admit longer than it probably should have. Um, but what came out of it was perfect. And here I'm going to cut to pictures of the car outside.
I can't actually put this car outside right now to show you while I'm talking about it because uh, shortly after this got done, I was driving it, it had an exhaust leak, which sort of snowballed to the entire engine is coming out. So that's why I can't drive, but I will have videos of that full uh, rebuild on the 390 with some really cool parts that will keep the whole thing looking original, but make a lot more power run better than it does right now. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you're interested, find those videos coming soon.